I put up a poll. I put up a poll uh, just a couple days ago. And I'm curious to see how y'all feel about it. I'm, I tweeted that I was, I'm the happiest I've been about this team in a long time. And it's too early. A lot of folks might say, yo, man, it's, yo, it's only, we're only 2-0. Oh. We've been in this position before where we, we were at 5-1 and one at one point and we crashed, right? But those, that 5-1 and one was like a hollow 5-1. and one. If you guys remember, Trent Edwards was our quarterback at the time. Um, and it was hollow and it, <laughs> it rang true. I asked myself, and I want to ask you guys, how many days is it, appro- is it appropriate for one to remain in this, this state of happiness, <laughs> right? Some people say, yo, listen, we got the win. You get one night, Sunday night. Enjoy the win the next day. I'm talking as if we we the players, right? The next day, you move on, right? Just get over with. Some people are like, man, listen, give me two days. Give me Sunday night. Give me all of Monday night because we get to watch Monday night games. And then Tuesday, let's get back into it. Some people say, give me till Thursday night until the next game. And some people are like, give me till next Sunday until the next game is played. How many days are we allowed to stay in this state of happiness? Is it is it appropriate for just two days? Yo, who's calling me reckless, Rico? Yo, am I reckless? Is, is two days okay? Is it one day? Kyle says until we lose. Keep it, keep that happiness until we lose. I respect it. I respect that too. Rosario says four days. After four days, it's a wrap. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Listen, Wednesday, half day, hump day. Hump day is a wrap. I don't mind it. Right? Everybody has their 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 moments. For me, Tuesday, like tonight. I'm still on a high. I appreciate Wednesday. You're kind of looking to like, oh, crap, who do we got next? So uh, it's always interesting to see how y'all feel about it. The practical kid says two days, man. That's all you need. Two days of staying happy is great. Brendan Riley says until Allen gets hurt. Come on, man. Don't, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't put those bad jujus on us, man. So I like it. Josh Allen for MVP. Shit, we're going to talk about that, baby. We're going to talk about that. So I just wanted to know. Because right now I'm on a high. I'm staying. I'm staying on this high until Tuesday, maybe Wednesday, midday, and then I wait for my guys Joe and Jay Spence to kick it off, and I, I'm good. I'm ready for the next day. I want you to take a look at this list here. I want you to take a look at this list. Shout out to my guy Bobby. That's my guy right now coming down with the graphics. So passing leaders for the league right now. Do you see who number five is? That's Russell Wilson. That's in my opinion the best quarterback in the game right now. Then you got Teddy. Teddy B. In the fourth place, you got Dak Prescott, you got Matt Ryan, and you got the numero uno, the number one man in the league in passing yards. That's Joshua Allen. I call him Dimes, right? Apparently, they tried to give this this guy in the Giants uniform, Danny Dimes. I don't think so, bro. The real Dimes, the, the one that's dropping Dimes right now is Josh Allen. Allen is dropping Dimes, and he's getting noticed. I'm telling you right now, if you guys are paying attention, we're getting a little bit of love from the national media, right? We are. We had Josh Allen on first take. He's talking to my guy, Stephen A. Stephen A tried to down. Yo, Stephen A, don't, don't play my guy like that. You tried to downplay, you know what I mean, our victory over the over the Jets and the Dolphins. Seeing from you, my man, congratulations. This first two games, you complete about 70% of your passes. Six touchdowns, not a single interception. Very impressive. That's the good side. The bad side is that it was against Miami and the Jets, but that's a different subject for another day. We are- Listen, man, this, this league, it's every game is different. Injuries can happen. Things can turn like this. When you're playing an opponent, your job is to beat that damn opponent. If the opponent is much weaker than you, you have to prove that they're much weaker than you. So Stephen A, he gets on the uh, the first take show, a little bit of pub, and he's handling it. He's handling everything like a G. I love his demeanor. This this guy's maturity is through the roof right now, and I and I love every bit of it. He's staying, and I and it it serves true. Stay humble, stay hungry. Even the way he he represents himself, he represents his team. You can just tell, hey, what we did was cool, man. I'm ready for the next one. I'm ready for the next one. So it now makes me ask these questions, right? Are we being spoiled with a new standard in Buffalo? That's a real question, man. Are we being spoiled? Are we, is this going to be sustainable? This is what I'm, this is what I'm saying. Hold on a second. My man, Pierre says, Dan Orlowski names him MVP after week two. This is Josh Allen. I'd put him as the MVP of the football right now through two weeks. Whoa. Okay. Damn, 
I'm still not on that train yet, but boy, Josh Allen is looking fantastic.